This model guitar was introduced by Gibson originally in 1955 as a single pickup guitar. It just had a, a single pickup roughly midway between the bridge and the neck. Um, I think late 56, early 57, they brought out the two pickup model, um, as you see. Um, the guitar is sometimes referred to as an ES225. TD uh, and those uh, letters after the number um, signify the T signifies thin line so if you look at the depth of the guitar uh, this in the 50s was known and still is as a thin line as opposed to a full depth jazz guitar. Uh, it was a forerunner for the uh, Gibson ES335 line which continues to this day again it's a similar depth uh, although there are uh, distinct design differences between the two. The 335 had uh, a block running through the centre of the body of the guitar which the pickups were mounted onto and the pickups were Gibson's then new humbucking pickups so that gave a very different sounding guitar. This guitar is completely hollow bodied, there is no centre block and the pickups are the P90 design that Gibson came out with in the early 1940s. Um, they're a single coil pickup and um, uh, very sensitive, um, great sounding guitar. played it and I only played it acoustically I didn't plug it in at that point um, I just knew it was my guitar and I'm extremely happy with the way that it's turned out um, it still is um, really my favorite guitar it's just a wonderful instrument with uh, a wonderful sound it's um, great for playing jazz for rock and roll country um, any of the kind of styles that, that I really like, it, it covers them very easily and it's a very easy play.